Hey guys, Reaper of Souls 89 here, bringing another another tutorial to you for Advanced Region Market. Today I'm going to be teaching y'all about the signs, the region kinds, the GUI, custom presets, and auto pricing. Starting with the simpler stuff, we're going to do the signs. So we have our rent sign, our sell sign, and our contract sign. The rent sign rents this region for a min and max time set. Players right click, right click on that sign. They then rent that region for however the minimum amount of time is set. If you have a max time set higher than the minimum, they can right click again to rent it out for the max time set. The sell sign sets it so the region is for sell for a permanent amount of time. You can set it for, let's say $100,000. Players right click on the sign. They now own that plot for a one-time fee until they, re until they sell that region off and reset it. Or they you know, no longer on the server anymore. You just go through and manually do it yourself. The contract region similar to the rent region, uh, sets it up so it automatically renews. They no longer have to come by and click the sign or go into the GUI and extend the timer that way. And we'll get into that more in depth here. I've already set up my plots, test, test two, test three, inside of another plot that overlaps these plots such as the one I did in my previous tutorial. If you're going to do that, just make sure that you set these plots priorities to a higher value than this plots, this World Guard region's priority. If you don't, as suggested in my other tutorial, if this region's priority is set for the same region as this, the same priority, They'll be able to rent the region, but they won't be able to build inside their plot. So let's create the rent sign. Our rent, you would put the world name, the plot name, and this is where you can put the amount and the time frame. So minimum, minimum of one day, max of two days. You can also go into your config.yml in your advanced region markets uh, folder and edit the config. You'll see here you've got your auto pricing. By default, it's going to come with example one through three. Uh, you can use these if you'd like, just change them, change them up a little bit, the extend time, max rent time, things like that. You can also create your own custom little things here if you wanted to. And you'll see that this is static per M2 and per M3. What these are going to do is it's going to explain it to you right here. So your static auto price calculation, the price is exactly what stands here, which means $200 is going to be a constant $200. Uh, so once you set your sign, let's say go back up in here and you set this for example one and hit done, $200 for two days, max seven days. Let's come over here and create our contract sign. Same thing. We're going to put the world name, the plot name, and this one we're going to do example two, which is $2 per square meter. So it's going to multiply that $2 by however many square meters are in this plot. I believe it is based off of how many blocks are in here. So we would put example two and done. 
Uh, that $2 in the example is now $364 for this plot because it's multiplying that $2 top to bottom and around. This one here is the cell arm cell in bracket world one test three. <coughs> Excuse me. You'll notice here in the example three pricing, it's five cents per cubic meter. Example three. 7,526 dollars per cubic meter for this whole plot. Now, what you can do is you could set your regions, which I believe it should be already set because I've been creating different things. Nope, just that one, test two. That should not be there. Anywho, so this region finder is your region kind. So once you've placed your sign, you can now do arm set region kind, whatever size or whatever region you want to use. Let's do small for test. So when we go back into the GUI, players looking for a region can now say, okay, I want to buy a small region. They can click on that and it'll show them what small regions are available to purchase. They can then click on that and teleport to the buy sign or teleport to the plot. And you can do that for all your plots. So let's do medium, test two, and large, test three. back into the GUI and you can see here keeps leaving and joining don't know why of course there's our test there's our test 2 and our test 3 you can also create your own custom regions by doing arm region kind create test two and when you go back up in here to the GUI it'll show you your custom regions by default it's already going to have starter small medium large shop and player shop these are ones that I've created earlier but there's test two that we just created now and by doing the command arm region kind help gives us a list of commands that we can use for the region finder. I can set the display end limits. I can set the item that appears in the GUI instead of the bed. It can be like a diamond. Uh, you can set the payback percentage. Let's, let's do that. Let's set the, uh, no, we're not going to do that. And so that's how you create your region kinds. So let's go ahead and run the regions. Yeah, turn that off so it doesn't teleport me. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and unrun those regions. Yeah, we'll leave it like this. Arm GUI. You can see the regions that I own. Test, test two, test three. Inside here, my small region, I can click on it. This is my rent region. I have the option to add members, teleport to my region, reset the region, which will reset everything that I've built or destroyed inside the region so far, which I can only do every seven days. Since it's top to bottom, that actually works out because players dig downwards. If they find diamonds, they can just reset the region and continuously mine those diamonds. 
so this will prevent them from doing that the reset and sell the region resets it to the point where I no longer own it it'll automatically um, put it back up for sale I will no longer own that region and none of my blocks will be in there it also give me a percentage of my money back the extend region actually is a lot better or is a lot easier to do from the GUI because I could be halfway across the world and not have to come back to the shop or to plot to right click on the sign to extend my timer. And entity limits just shows the number of entities that I could have inside my plot. If I was a normal player it would say 10 chickens which means I can have 10 entities. And then the info just shows the info of that plot. So GUI. In my test two region, my contract region, same things. I have the members, the subregions. Oh, I created a uh, custom preset for that. Teleport to region, reset the region, reset cell. Manage my contract. This I can terminate my contract from across the map after the 11 hours and 57 minutes is expired. My contract will terminate and the plot will go back up to, for sale to other players. Of course, everything else is exactly the same. And let's go to test three, which I've not created for that. But I've got the same thing. Members, teleport to region, reset region, reset and sell the region, entity limits, and shows info. Well, let's go over here real quick. Uh, inside my region that I have for contract, I can create a smaller region with the region tool. And do, 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 I think it was subregion create. So now I can do sub rent. And the last line, price per period, extend, max. All right. So for the bigger plots here, if I were to buy that plot, this whole plot is mine. I can create a subregion inside that and allow other players access to plots within my plot. So creating the custom presets. <coughs> GUI regions reset and sell all right so for the custom presets, for you have contract, rent, and sell presets. Let's do a sell preset. And if you do that with help, it'll give you a list of all the commands you can do with the sell presets. Not to do help too. There we go. So in this we can set um, add commands, 
allowed subregions, auto price, delete, do block reset, true or false. The entity limit we can change like 20 entities at a time. The set it for a hotel, info, list, load. Uh, after we've created a custom preset, we can then load that preset. Manually set the price and change the region kind for that. So if I were to GUI let's go ahead and remove that. Boop. We have no large regions available, which is fine. So now we're going to create the presets. Sell preset auto price. Auto price pulls it from your auto prices. Example one, two, three. Uh, if you set it for an auto price, you can remove that auto price or small plot. You can also set the price for whatever you want. So the price is the price line on the signs is empty now. We or we can leave it empty now. Cell preset region kind, we're going to custom, put that as a large, subregion, we're going to allow the amount of two, and what else do we want to put on there? And all we got to do is after you're done setting your presets for that region, just do cell preset save and the name test. And then if you wanted to create separate presets, uh, you could do another one for, let's do just <coughs> auto price example two and save that preset we'll save that as test two I believe yep and if you forget whatever preset list you've got you can do list and it'll show you so now if you're loaded into I'll preset load test right now we're on the test preset when we create a sign all we have to do is arm cell world name and the plot name and we can leave that blank and it'll automatically set that sign for whatever we have the preset set for and now this plot is active with everything that we've created for that preset. Now I can go ahead and load test 2 and go off to the next one and create a different plot than this one. But as you can see here we've created it so now I can create two subregions within my plot oh. sub <laughs> I forgot what that was supposed to be oh I'm sorry subregion create there we go now we do subrent
And then I can come over here and do another one. But I won't be able to do another one. Wait, did I set that for two? Yeah, all right. So I won't be able to set another one because there's only allowed two subregions. Um, I believe that is everything on how to create the region cons, how to create your signs, how to set the region cons, how to use the GUI. Just double check here. This is so if you add a member, uh, it'll tell you how to become a member. But other than that, I can't think of anything else to show you guys. Uh, if I miss something, I'm pretty sure y'all be able to uh, let me know, and then I'll try to figure it out. But other than that, thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful. Leave me, uh, leave me some feedback.